Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving grade 12 national examinations from past paper. The first question for today it says three digit library identification card is to be printed from the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We do have six numbers here, six digits from 0 to 5. In a way that the first is non zero and no number is to be repeated. So how many such cards can be printed? Uh, this time we are going to apply multiplication process. We need to prepare three digit numbers. You know, three digit numbers, it has unit place and tens place and hundred place. It says a three digit library identification card is printed from these numbers in a way that first is non zero. The first digit, that means the hundred uh, place cannot be zero because if it is zero, it's going to be two digit number only. So, here, how many chances we have? Uh, we have around five chances. Zero cannot be written. So, the race number can be written here. So, we have five chances here times. And again, in a way that no number is repeated means now in the next place how many numbers I do have how many chance we do have here how many numbers or how many possible numbers I can write here from the six from the six already one number is taken one number is already written assume one number is written on the hundred place so we are not going to repeat so how many numbers left now five numbers left because in the in the things place I took one of the number from the six means one number is already uh, assumed it's taken I would I don't have to repeat and then in the tens place, I will have five uh, digits because this time zero will be included when you count six digits I have total. From the six, one is already taken, so five left times. In the tens place now, it will reduce again. Two numbers already taken in the hundred place, in the tens place. How many numbers left? How many digits left? Four digits left. So when you multiply this, it's going to be 25 times four, uh, which is 100. So it says how many such cards can be printed? 100. That is the answer. The next question, a student needs to select three books from three mathematics. There are three mathematics, three physics, and one history books. Totally, the total possible uh, number of books are, uh, you know, it is seven. So what is the probability that one of, them, the mat one of them is mathematics book and the other is a physics or history books? The other is either history or physics means one mathematics means the combination three to one and the other two it can be uh, one physics one history that means three one three one one or the first mathematics and the other bo both of them can be uh, physics there is no another possibility because history is just one so one mathematics this one mathematics and the other physics and history possible one one or uh, one of the book is mathematics the other two can be physics this is possible. The whole over. The combination is seven two three. We are going to select three books out of the seven. The seven. So this time we need to recall uh, three combination one. It is the same as three, and three combination two also. It is the same as three. Don't forget that. But seven combination three you can do it. Seven combination three. Let's do that one. Seven combination three. It can be written 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 moves 4 factorial times 3 factorial. Combination you, you need to remember. 7 factorial means 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial will be there, but I will ignore with the 4 factorial to be cancelled. The whole over 3 factorial. 3 factorial means you know, 6, so it will be 35 the denominator. Here we have 3 times 3, one, one combination 1, it's 1, leave it plus. Here also 3 times 3, 3 times 3. The whole over 35. 3 times 3, 9, 9 plus 9 will be 18. 18 over 35. That's going to be the total possibility or the total probability of uh, extracting or taking out one mathematics and the other two either physics and history or only physics. That's it, the second question. The next one, it says uh, items produced by certain company are subjected to two kinds of defects. There are two kinds of, kind of defects, defect one and defect two. And out the total of, out of the total production, 5% are defect one and 10% defect two and 2% both defect, then what is the probability or what the probability for an item that have 
defect D2. Given that it has defect one, already defect one, what the probability to be defect two? This time, uh, we need to like construct a Venn diagram. The total production, assume it is hundred, because in percentage it's given to you. There are two defects here. Uh, it is defect one and defect two. Both of them, it is con considered these two. Both of them, like the common one. The intersection part and defect one alone it is five percent like five we can think because out of hundred the inverse are said consider it's hundred hundred production and defect two uh, it is ten percent that means the only defect one means five minus two which is three this part is three and this part will be eight how do i know because the defect one circle is totally it's five and the defect two circle it's totally it is ten so the intersection part two means uh, defect 1 only is 3 and defect 2 only is 8. The, the rest part, okay, 8 plus 2 will be 10, 10 plus 3 will be 13. The rest is 87. Okay, the normal one, this one without defect, it's 87. We are considering the inversal as 100. Why? Because it's in percent given. Now, what is the probability for an item that have defect 2 given that it's already defect 1? Given that defect 1 means already the one which is uh, taken is in the first circle in this group. Like totally, this time, specifically, like particularly in our case, uh, totally it's under the number of five. So, what is the probability for an item that have defect two, given that it has defect one? That is uh, to be defect two. I mean defect two. It's in, in the intersection part of here. It's two. So two out of five, which is zero point four. Because what is the probability for an item that have defect two, given that defect one means, given that it is under the circle of here, D1, under the circle of D, D1. So what is the probability to be in defect two means to be in the intersection part? Because already it's defect one. Already in defect one means in this circle, that is the total possibility is like five. So to be in the defect one also means it to be in the intersection part, which is two out of five, which is zero point. Therefore, it's better to see it in this manner. So the answer will be D. The next question, you are given a data on the age of students in a primary school. Age and number of students are given to you. So which one of the following is not true about the data? Okay, first we have to know the total number of students here. Total frequency, we need to add. Uh, here 20 and here also uh, 20, together it will be 40. This is the total. So the median, the median means it's uh, the total number of the data is 40, which is even. So the median will be uh, 40 divided by 2, which is 20, okay? So it's even number. So 20, the 20th term, the 20th term plus the next one, the 21st term, divided by uh, 2. The 20th term, okay, 5 plus 15 is 20. The 20 term is 10. Plus, the next one is 11. Then divide by 2. 10 plus 11 will be 21 over 2, which is 10.5. That is a median correct. And the mode, the mode means the highly repeated part. The highly repeated one is, as you see from the frequency, that is 10, correct. 15 uh, is highly frequented. I mean, the, high, the larger frequency is 15. This belongs for the age 10. So that is the mode, correct. The mean, when you are trying to find the mean, the mean means uh, total sum divided by total number of elements. So eight times five will be 40 plus, we need to multiply. Uh, each age with the corresponding frequency, okay? Those having eight age is uh, five students, so we'll multiply plus 10 times five, 15 is 150, plus 88, plus 120, plus 26. We need to add, divide by 40. So add it, uh, 270, one, one, 150 and 120 is 270. 270 plus 40 is 330, I mean 330. 310 plus, let's add this to 41, uh, 140 over 40 still. Add it, 310, 114, 42, 4, 424. So it will be 424 over 40. Then simplify. 424 over 40 when you make, you can simplify by 4 because to make the denominator 10. By 4, this will be 10. This by 4, it will be 106. Then when you divide, 106 divided by 10 will be 106 over 10. We have left over 10. Uh, this is the same as 10.6. It's not uh, 10.5, so this is wrong. The range, 
P can check larger minus uh, smaller or the maximum minus the minimum. The larger is 13, the, the highest age, and the smaller one is 8. The, when you take the difference, it will be 5. So the answer will be C. Okay, next question. Next question, we are asked the class mark of a student scored in an examination is grouped in class intervals as shown below. So what is the media? Remember for the formula. Median formula is uh, the lower class boundary of the median class plus uh, n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency of the class before over frequency of the class times the class interval. This is a formula. You need to recall for the formula. This is it. Then uh, the total frequency. We have to know total frequency. First we have to add. This is 20, 40, and 10, 50. So n over 2 means, you know, 50 over 2, which is 25. OK, that is 25. So 25 is found where? 8 plus 12, 20. 20 plus the next 10 terms are here in the third class. Even the 25 terms will be found here. So the median class is the third class. The third class means uh, the, the class boundary is a must. That is 70, you know, the, the gap 0 0.5 will be subtracted from the, low, from the lower and 0 0.5 will be added on the upper. So 74.5 until uh, 84.5, that is a class. So the class boundary, this is the lower class boundary, and the class interval will take the difference, which will be 10. We have everything now. Therefore, the median will be, the class boundary, the lower class boundary will be 74.5 plus n over 2 means 25 minus the cumulative frequency of the B4 class. We will add these two, which will be 20. The whole over uh, frequency of the class is 20 times the class interval, which is 10. When you multiply this one, you can cut a 0 here. Here, the difference is 5. 5 over 2 means 2.5. So 74.5 plus 2.5. When you add them, it will be 77. You can add and check. That is the median. The next question, uh, a school has three classrooms for grade 11, namely 11A, 11B, and 11C. The number of students in this classroom is 28, 20, and 22. So all of uh, all the students took an examination, and the average score of the students uh, of grade 11A, 11B, and 11C is given to you 60, 70, and 70, respectively. So what is the average score in the examination for grade 11 students for total? We are asked the total uh, average. The average of each class given and the total frequency asked. So for 11A, the total number of elements are 28. That means uh, sum of 28 over 28 will give you how many? OK, wait a minute. First of all, particularly try to observe 11A, total number of students are 28. And their average is 60. How is 60 count at the point? The 60 comes, all the other, all the results, or the 20 to the 28 student result added, then divide by 28. That means sum of 28 divided by 28. It will give you how many? 60. Again, when we are considering uh, 11B, there are how many? 20. So that sum of 20 over 20 will give you uh, the average, which is 70. And the last one, uh, 11C, there are 22. The 22 students. Sum of the 22 divided by 22 will give you 70 again. So sum of 22 over 22. OK. okay so that uh, for 11A only, there are 20, 28 students. So sum of the 28 result divided by 28 is 60, given to you the average. And the same thing for 11B. This one is for 11C. This one is, belongs to 11A. This one belongs to 11B. And this one belongs to 11C. Now let us use crisscross sum of 28. Okay, by crisscross, one times sum of 28. Will be sum of 28 is equal to 60 times 28. And sum of 20, it is the same as by crisscross, 70 times 20. Again, sum of 22, it is the same as 70 times 22. Now, the average of all, the mean of all, is equal to sum of all divided by the total number of uh, students in all class. Total number of uh, students all class means 28 plus 20 plus 22, which is 
sum of all over uh, the sum of this will be you know it will be 60 plus 50 plus 20 will be 70 yeah, 70 now observe the denominator sum of all means sum of all means look sum of 20 plus sum of 20 i mean 28 plus sum of all of the class <coughs> sum of all look sum of the 28 student is already here it is sum of the 20 means it is 70 times so that the mean of all will be 60 times 28 plus 70 times 20 plus again 70 times 22 the whole over 70 now observe there is 70 there is 70 here to take out 70 common but this one is 60 we have to make this one 70 how 28 it can be written as 4 times 7 okay we have to be systematic this time we can write it let's write it in another page So our objective is uh, to write 60 times 28. 60 times uh, 28, we can write it. 60 by itself is 10 times 6. And 28 by itself is 7 times 4. Our objective is to get 70 from it. 10 times 7 will be 70. 70 times 24. I multiply 6 times 4. The others, <coughs> they contain already. So 70 times 24 is the same as the first one. Okay, let's get back and see it now. So instead of this one, we can write 70 times 24. We rearrange it already. Now take out 70 comment for all. 70 in bracket, 24 plus 20 plus 22. The whole over 70. Why I did the above process? To cancel this 70, that's it. Instead of multiplying, imagine how time taking and then divide by 70, it's time taking. But this one, yeah, it was 60 times 28. Systematically, we wrote it. 70 times 24, then 70 taken out. Then when you add it, it will be 66. Common mistake of student, what they are trying to do, they will add 60 plus 70 plus 70, then divide by 3. Unfortunately, the answer will be 66.67. It's here. But this doesn't work. This is a way how to do. Okay? For 11a, the average given means the whole, okay, the whole result, sum of the 20 divided by 20. Okay, this is a step how to do. So the answer is going to be A. The next question. It says, among the students who took a quiz, 15 students scored 60, and 20 students scored 7, 7 and 10 students scored 8, and 5 students scored 10. What is the average score of the students? This one is very simple. The average or the mean means 15, they scored 6 means 15 times 6, plus 20 times 7, plus 10 times 8, plus 5 times 10. The whole over. The total number of students, how many there? 15, the first one 15 plus, the next one 20 plus, the next one 10 plus, then 5. Uh, then which is equal to 15 times 6, you know, which is 190. 90 plus 140 plus 80 plus 50. The whole over, add it. 5, 5, 20, 20, 30, 50. Then one zero cancel each of them because all of them they have last digit zero. In case of addition, you cannot cancel one zero here. Only you cannot stop. From all, there is a common zero at last. So the common that means the ten will be taken out. You can consider in that way, and then add nine fourteen will be twenty three plus eight will be nine fourteen twenty three plus eight thirty one thirty one plus five will be thirty six. Thirty six over. 5. So 6 over 5 means it is, you know, uh, 7.2. So the answer will be uh, C. Okay, the next question. How many four digits, even numbers? You see, four digits at the same time even, so that we have four options now. Unit place, tens place, hundred place, and, you know, it is thousand place. But it must be even number format from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, uh, repetition will be possible. We can repeat digit. It doesn't say, it doesn't restrict us. So if the number starts with 3, so that the number starts with 3 means the unit, play, I mean the thousand place, we cannot write any other number, just only 3. So we have only one chance here. The other place, we have all of the chance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chance we have. So here 5, here also 5, here also 5 possibilities we have. 
because numbers can be repeated. It doesn't say, uh, no, no, no. In the last digit, we cannot write all of them. We can write only either two or four. We have only two chance at last because it's even number. Remember, in the other place, in the middle, 100 place and 10 place, we can write either of the numbers because repetition is possible. But in the in the, in the, in the thousand place, I can write only one number. If, been, if the number starts with three, only three can be written here. Therefore, five times five, you know, it is 25 times two, which will be 50. So the answer will be B. Uh, the next question, a committee consisting of three students to be selected from 10 candidates and four girls and the other means six boys, you know. What is the probability that at least one girl, at least one girl means two girls is also possible, three of them girls is also possible. So that means well, at least one girl means one girl and two boys is one possibility, plus uh, two girls and one boy is the second possibility, plus all the three girls are possible. Okay, from the four girls, one girl and two of them are boys, possible from the six to combination, this is combination. The whole over, the total combination is 10 to 3. This time we need to see uh, each combination part by part. For combination 1, you know it's 4. And for combination 3, also it's 4. 6 combination 2, it's the same as uh, 6 times 5 times, you know, 6 times 4 is 4 factorial. So the 4 factorial will be cancelled over 2. Uh, 15, this will be 15. We can uh, check it. 6 combination 2. It is the same as 6 factorial over uh, 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial times 2 factorial. That means 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. I can stop it here. In the case of 6 factorial, I can write it in this way. Why? Because there is 4 factorial in the denominator to cancel. Then times 2 factorial there. You can cancel it. How I stop it? You know, 6 factorial means normally 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is a formula. But I said 6 times 5 times. The remaining this is the same as 4 factorial. I stopped it there. The reason, because I observed here there is 4 factorial to cancel it. So that the way. Okay, let us grab it to use our space. Okay, the same, this one. Uh, Six uh, combination two it is the same as again. Here this must be six one sorry, because four combination two and six one six combination one it is six, and four combination two I get the same four factorial over four minus two is four factorial times two factorial, four factorial by itself is four times three times two factorial, so you can cancel the two and by two, this is going to be six. Okay, now everything we know. And seven, 10 combination 3 left. Uh, again, 10 combination 3, it is the same as what? 10 factorial over 10 minus 3, you know, it is 7 factorial times 3 factorial, which is 10 factorial means 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. We can stop it here. Over 7 factorial times 3 factorial means 3 times 2. Now I'm rearranging for simplification. Then by 3, this will be uh, 3. And this by 2, 120 in which it will be 120. The denominator part. Therefore, the denominator part is 120 means now the above one, 4 times 15, we have which will be 60. And 40, 36 times 4 will be, I mean, 36 plus 4 is uh, 40, 40 plus 60 will be 100. 100 over 120, we can cut the 0 and simplify by 2, 5, by 2, 6. So 5 over 6. This is denominator 6, so answer will be A. The next question, uh, a group of 6 students take their seats at random in round table. For a discussion, what is the probability that two specific students do not sit together? Uh, consider there is round table and there are 6 seats, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six. Uh, consider two students cannot sit together. One of students will be uh, fixed at some place. Like in case of round table, you know the total probability or the total possibility. You know n minus one factorial. That is the total possibility. That is six minus one factorial, which is five factorial. 
that factorial means five times, four times, you know, it, it will be 120. That is the total possibility. If there is no other restriction, that is the total uh, permutation. Therefore, we are asked, uh, two students cannot sit together. Student B, okay, there is another student, student B, cannot sit here or cannot sit here. It, it, may, it might sit here or here or here, okay? There are three possible cases it has. If student sit, uh, student B sit here, the other four students, they can sit in different ways. So there will be four factorial. Plus, if a student sit here again, there will be four factorial. A student B cannot sit here or it cannot sit here. Okay, let's make it X. And let's change the color. Student B cannot sit here or cannot sit here. Because two students do not sit together means student A and student B cannot sit together means nearby. So student B, if he cannot sit here, uh, it may sit here or here or here. He or she may sit here or here or here. So if it sits here, the other four students, they have four permutation, four factorial they have. That means four factorial plus if the student be here, the same, 4 factorial plus 4 factorial. The whole over, out of the total. The total means, you know, it's 120. We got it already. Uh, or 5 factorial. Which is equal to 4 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 4 factorial means 3 times 4 factorial. Like x plus x plus x means 3x, you know. The whole over, 5 factorial means 5 times 4 factorial. I can write it. the same like I said before. 5 factorial, it is the same as 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times, 1. But instead, this one, I can write it 4 factorial. The reason, because to cancel here, 4 factorial. So what left? 3 over 5. So the answer will be found in A. So these are some of the questions that I prepared for today uh, on statistics and probability. I will continue solving. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me. Thank you for watching.